Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're at the Water Oasis. We'll show you what we're working with today. Uh, if you come in here, this is where we were gonna have the ceremony, but it was kind of cloudy today and they didn't want to risk uh, setting up everything under the covered area to play on the safe side, but we're gonna have to do a room flip later on. We're gonna flip the room and that's where we're gonna set up our DJ table. So we have everything kind of off to the side till after the ceremony. After the ceremony is over, if it's not raining, everybody's gonna go down here by the lake to do cocktail hour and we're gonna do our room flip. So if you follow me over here, we have our head table. Um, to make this area look really good, we're gonna do these up lights on the wall. We have some above the fireplace. No power out here, over here on this side. And that's what's good about the wireless ones that we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do either like a purple or a red. And later on in the evening, we have some moving headlights and we're gonna put a wall pattern uh, up on this wall and maybe the ceiling and just give it a little bit of movement to kind of bring it to life. All right, so these are our moving head uh, truss systems that we're gonna use at this particular wedding. So this is what we're gonna play the slideshow on. We have these moving heads, and these moving heads are really, really cool. Uh, we can program them, we can put different wall patterns on them, we can make them do a couple different things. So during like the first dance, we're gonna spotlight the dance floor. When they do speeches, we're gonna spotlight the head table so we can really customize it to the room. And then when the photo booth comes, it's gonna be really cool because people are gonna go over there, they're gonna take their photo, and their photos instantly gonna appear on these TVs and everybody seems to enjoy it, they get a good laugh out of it, and it's just an added element to the wedding reception. So what's really cool about the intelligent lights that we have is we can put different gobos, it can just be a bright white light, we can do different colored lights. We can take a pretty plain boring room and really spice it up to make it look really good with some lights. Uh, you can see this room right now, it's full daylight, but it is pretty dark in here in the middle of the daytime. Once that sun sets, uh, these don't put off that much light and we have to turn them down. So having that added lighting is really gonna make this room look really good, especially with all the drapery that they have hanging in here. So if you can see, this is a really big room. Um, so we're gonna have two speakers up here for the ceremony, but then when the reception goes on, you can see from here all the way back to that head table is probably a good 100, 200 feet away. They have about 175 people. So we're gonna have tables right here, and then we have to get that sound all the way to the back of the room. So if you follow me over here, everybody always compliments me, goes, wow, your sound sounds amazing. How did you guys do it? So we place the speakers throughout the room so everybody can hear evenly and it's either not too loud or it's not too quiet and everybody has a pleasant experience because it's always that person that says, turn it up, or the other person that says, turn it down uh, when they're doing the speeches. Some people can hear, some people can't. And one of the biggest things is getting people from that site to this side over here and people need to hear what I'm saying on the microphone so they have clear direction what's going on what's happened next so nobody misses anything soon you will say a few words that will take you to the next level in your lives things will never be quite the same between you two all right so right now we're gonna go mic up the efficient and I'm gonna give him some detailed instructions make sure he knows everybody's seated keep their phones in their pockets and give them directions to over there before when we do the cocktail. Where is the efficient at? Scott. Scott? We're gonna lapel you now. Which one's lapel Scott? You, the guy in the blue. So this will remain um, on silent until you get up there and then we'll bring up the volume. Yeah. You do not have to touch anything on this box. You're good to go. Do you prefer this in your uh, on the belt or in the pocket? Uh. Okay, in your notes, do you have it to tell everybody yes. to sit down? Awesome. Yes, because I've had so many ceremonies where like people are like halfway through um, and then people are seat. still yeah. standing. Um, do you have uh, in there to tell people to keep, turn off their cell phones? I haven't yet. And then so tell stop. people to um, keep their cell phones, turn them off yeah. and keep them in their pockets so that way they're not taking pictures okay. during the ceremony. Yeah. I'm gonna play their exit song. I'm gonna wait for them to take a footstep and that's when I'll play their exit song. So if you don't hear the music at first, it's because I'm waiting for them to take a footstep, then I'll go ahead and play their exit song. Once the whole wedding party is exited, I will bring down the volume of the music. I'll let you make your closing announcements so everybody can hear. This wedding promise is sealed with the exchange of rings. The rings symbolize the couple's desire to be faithful to one another, but the circular shape evokes the couple's unending commitment. The rings are a constant reminder of their partner's presence in this world. Do you, Ben, take Brenna to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. 
By the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church in the state of Oregon, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.